Hey guys, what's up? How you doing today? Cause I'm doing not that good. You see what I had planned on going? Uh, this will be good for me. I can fuck up the skeleton to, to relieve some anger. Um, I finished today recording uh, all the sneak damage. Um, all my fucking it's some skeleton on skeleton action here brewing um, recording all my fable anniversary fable HD whichever you want to call it uh, all my footage for it and yeah. audio since I do it simultaneously but <clears throat> as soon as I finished and you know got everything squared away Oh, it's an Indiana Jones booby trap right there. For some reason, you cannot activate those. You have to step on them, which are a little silly. But the other ones you can uh, trigger. But, you know, booby traps aside. Um. Uh. Yeah, I, I finished it all. And then the entire freaking file got corrupted. All the... <laughs> all the video, everything... So yeah, that, that, you know, I had to, I was like so close to whipping my, my freaking 360 just something out the window, you know, I probably split my knuckles open punching, you know, the side of the, the wall or whatever like that in frustration, but yeah, I mean, granted, it didn't take me too long. It took me like 30 hours or something to capture that game, since you know it's you know relatively short if you know what you're doing. Um, but yeah, so that is gone for now. It's off the table for now. Uh, until I can recapture it again. The funny thing, may I'll see if I can maybe capture the game and. Uh, keep the audio or something? I've been waiting for you, assassin. We have not spoken in some time, but I am well aware of your accomplishments within the Dark Brotherhood. That is why I have sent for you. I'm afraid there is a situation. The time has come to test both your skill and your loyalty to Sithis. The Black Hand has learned that the Dark Brotherhood has been infiltrated. By whom, and for what purpose, we do not yet know. What we do know is that there is some link between the Traitor and the Chaden Hall Sanctuary. The Traitor has tainted that place beyond repair. It was learned that the Traitor has been active for quite some time, since before you joined the Brotherhood. That absolves you of any suspicion. And that, dear child, is why the Black Hand has chosen you to perform the ancient rite known as purification. Everyone inside the sanctuary must die. You must break one of the tenets you have sworn to uphold. I know this is an unexpected turn of events, but drastic measures must be taken. Ochiva, Vicente Valtieri, Antoinette Marie, Gogran Grobalmag, Talendril, Mirage Dar, and Tainava. All these family members must die. From this point forward, you are no longer bound by the five tenets. Sithis will forgive any murder, any theft, so long as you serve the Black Hand. When the rite of purification has been completed, return to me here at Fort Farragut, and we will discuss your future. Now, take these special gifts. 
they will help you greatly. One is a poisoned apple, the other a unique scroll of summoning. Good luck, Silencer. Make haste, the sanctuary must be. If this treachery is to be undone. Yeah, the poison apple is awesome. Like, it instantly kills anybody. Um, you just gotta basically, like, get rid of all the food in the their house or area. And then they'll eat it and it's just dead. They're also worth a lot of money. They're, like, I think, like, a couple hundred or something. Or, at li or a thousand or something. Like, but, you know, they're really valuable to have. But, yeah, um, like I was saying, uh... I would not hold out for Fable Anniversary for a while. Um, I'm going to pick some flowers to make myself feel better. Um, <laughs> yeah, so it's, this game's so goddamn beautiful. Playing this game is like just the music is making me feel better right now. <sighs> yeah. I don't know, yeah, um, Fable HD, that was really good times, good, you know, it, it it's not, it's the exact same as Fable Lost Chapters, but it, it's, it's still worth a purchase, I, in my opinion, but there's something about, like, it seems like they do for remakes, um, that they make them, like, darker and gritty, grittier sort of thing, which... Part of the reason I like the uh, sort of art design or what have you of this game is like I really like games with bright colors. It could just be sort of like a you know how colors affect your mood and stuff like that. Um, but I'm just you know I just like the uh, the design of this game better than Skyrim. Skyrim just looks you know too realistic. If I want to see something super realistic, I'll look at a you know. A bloody, you know, I'll look at a fucking picture. You know? What's with this fucking real? That's why Call of Duty sucks. Oh, ooh, burn. Yeah, if you got a problem with that, dial 1 800. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna. Let's go find. Um, there's a cool little conversation you can have with. Uh, what's his name? But yeah, um. I'll do Fable HD, definitely. I just... I just need a... I can't do that game again. Seeing you again is like a... Aw, oh, thank you. Ah, there you are. Uh, look, I've been thinking, and... Well, I guess I just want to say I'm sorry for the way I've treated you in the past. I mean, look at you. The things you've accomplished. You've obviously proven yourself a valuable member of this sanctuary. So let's start over, shall we? I know from now on, you and I are going to be great friends. Now, is there something you'd like to buy or sell? Oh, a secret assignment, you say? Come on, can't you give your old pal Mirajdar a hint? Who do you have to kill? Anyone I know? <laughs> <laughs> that laugh sounded like it's someone who's this. like a, a huge chain smoker. Like... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you that <laughs> they sort of make it hard for you. You're like, oh, no, I like this guy now. I don't want to kill him, but you got to. Um, so, you know, try and get, you know, some of the good spells from him, at least, you know, if you're good with magic, which, you know, Argonians aren't the best, since I can't do half this shit right here, but, you know, best thing to do is to get some of the weapons here. Weapons. Magic. The art. Um, so, yeah. I got a list of LPs I got planned. Tell your friends about me. Until we meet again. Yeah, um I got a list of let's plays or whatever I'm going to do and this this let's play in itself is going to be sort of lengthy, but um I 
Fable will be sort of chopped down a little lower than I would have liked, which sucks because since it's new, a lot of people would have loved to watch it. I, I'm not going to get myself into this because it's just going to get me annoyed. Um, so let's slowly kill this guy to make me uh, uh, die. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he stands up like, oh, what was that? Like, like maybe if you got bitten in the back by a bug or something like, oh, what was that? That felt bad. Oh, that dude just whacked me in the back with a, with a giant ass mace. But, <clears throat> I mean, if you play full, like, full on really good stealthy character, you can maybe kill everybody without anyone knowing, but it's pretty tricky dicky, so I wouldn't, uh, you know. So, yeah. So basically, make sure you get the, if you want to be a vampire, from him, uh, yeah, I, that, that's your only chance, unless you go fight some vampires, which it's really easy and annoying, uh, to get, uh, what's it, hemophilia or something like that, the vampirism disease, um, but what, you know, it's I, actually to an annoying, an annoying point, uh, how how easily it can get caught and uh, once we do which guild is it? I want to say it's the fighters guild you can get it, you get it in that you have to fight a buttload of vampires but you know that aside um, uh, well we'll leave our pet rat you know uh, well hmm who deserves my mice next? hello oh I think I think I need to save. That's what's you know what what the what I need to do. I think. Now, let's just um, let's just take out this motherfucker right here. Yeah, I feel like a kid in a candy store, except candy. It's dead bodies, and instead of you know, uh, I forgot where I was going with that. But moving on, let's just kill this guy real quick. Uh, whack him in. Oh, he can teleport Why? into his armor. That's a bit all right. I chopped that guy. The f I I beat the guy the fuck out of that guy's ankle right there. It's pretty awesome. Uh, I always thought it would just be hilarious just to make a full-on, just super bulky ass strong motherfucker, some big ass Nord or something, have a giant ass shield, shoot super heavy armor, and just give him a little butter knife. Uh, f you know. Fighting utensil will be like foul orc. Prepare to taste the steel of thine plus three letter opener. <laughs> but yeah, the best thing to do with this, anyway, is the way I figured, because everyone in this uh, in the Dark Brotherhood is relatively uh, well leveled up. So especially the uh, the orc, he's pretty tough. He's a hard hitter. <clears throat> The best thing to do, and that chick with the bow and arrow, she'll mess your shit up. Uh, and you got uh, him, who's a magician, obviously, since he sells you magic spells. Uh, best thing to do would be to separate them and not have to fight them as a freaking cluster, like I, you know, foolishly did right here. I got a little too uh, anxious. It's the anger inside me it took over. The anger of my my all that stuff. Uh, but as I was saying about uh, Fable, it's a really good it, Fable HD was really good. I highly recommend it. If you know, it's good fun. I do highly recommend you change the uh, when you get the the you know when you start playing the game to switch it up to the traditional uh, control settings like it's the settings that they were in the original Xbox. Because I swear the new setting they had you know, set up or whatever. Apparently it's based on the first, or it's on based on Fable 2 and 3, which I tell you, they did, that, that was awkward as hell for me, I don't know. It could be just because I was playing it with the mentality of the first one, I don't know, but um... I thought it was really awesome, and plus it's cool that you get the, uh, the Fable Anniversary Guidebook, you get a, a really awesome gold sword. Well, you get a DLC code with a that you get the sort of strategic strategia or whatever, and it's you know that that's always cool. Um, 
Yeah, but uh, and plus it's it's not a full retail game. It's only forty bucks, which is a uh, a good deal in my opinion, anyways. And I don't know if they ported it on Xbox One or not, like online. Like on demand. This Jesus Christ, dude. Oh. <laughs> this guy's putting me to sleep. How long he's taken? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Die. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. Shout out to, to, to freaking uh, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Awesome game. Although, I think I like uh, Castlevania, Super Castlevania 4 a little better. That game's so much fun. But good luck buying a copy of it. It's like 50 bucks online. A, a Super Nintendo copy. What the hell is wrong? How come every single decent Super Nintendo game is balls just expensive? No, I know why it is. It's because they're not rare or anything. Like, you're gonna honestly tell me Castlevania that, like, I'd be I wouldn't be surprised if I saw Contra, Contra on online, you know, for, you know, fifty bucks. He's like, yeah, that's so. Jesus, I'm riddled with errors. What was that noise there? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> um, yeah, it, she did it again. What the fuck? <laughs> um, yeah, the, Contra. That game's so rare. I think every kid in America had one, had a copy, didn't they? Um, but yeah, like Contra, or not Contra, Castlevania. Like, good luck ever, ever getting a copy of freaking uh, um. Demon Demon Seal? Is that what it's called? Demon Seal? I think that's what it's called. Hold on, let me find that. Um Demon's Crest. That's right. I'm retarded. That game's awesome, with Firebrand in it. One of the coolest. That game's awesome, but it, you know. It's, uh, yeah, games like that. Like, good luck ever playing that game on like the original CES, because you know it's like ninety, like a almost a hundred bucks, uh, getting a copy of it, a decent copy. The only thing I can pray to the gods is, thank god I got my Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger, one of the best Super Nintendo games ever. One of the best JRPGs ever. If you haven't played it, you're a fucking loser! And you're not welcome in this in this video, so get the fuck out. <laughs> like, there's this one loser. Yeah, I work with him. He knows who he is. This little piece of shit. He, he played Chrono Trigger, you know, on the PS1. Yeah, the lamest version, I know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, he didn't even play... He didn't even get to the halfway point, and he turned it off to play fucking, um, um, Final Fantasy Lightning Returns. Oh my god. That game looks so awesome, I swear to god. Because the last Final Fantasy games were so awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I kid, I kid. But, you know, I didn't even, you know, my brother played the last 13 too, and I, you know, I've seen enough of that game to, to you know, to, to, I'll, you know, to warrant uh, caution on that game, but, you know, uh, I am hey, I'm sorry I killed everybody. How can um, the of assistance? but yeah, he, his loss, you know, he, he doesn't want to play one of the best games ever made, you know, then... You know, but yeah, that game like apparent like Crow Trigger. I got it for forty bucks at a used game store. A uh, brand spank. No, wait, what was that? What did I get? No, I got I got Earthworm Jim for like five bucks there, which was a good deal. Um, yeah, I don't know what I was talking Sorry about that. Yeah, I had that. My Chrono Trigger I had since, you know, I was like 13. It's brand spanking new even to this day. 
Which I wish I still. Fuck you, gump, Grumpy Shark. Quit ruining my video. <laughs> Shout out to Grumpy Shark. Um, yeah, I, I had my that's my Chrono Trigger is you know perfect. I wish I I was so freaking retarded to throw away the box. The map I still have, or the map, the 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 well, the the fucking poster I still have on my wall, which is pretty cool. I'm happy about, very proud of that. Um, but yeah, that game, like, my friend got it for forty bucks or whatever at a used game store, and uh, like checking online, that game's escalated to like ninety to a hundred bucks, like with damage. I might add, with damage, like you know peeled off labels and all that stuff. I was like, god damn, man. What, is this gonna escalate to like when I'm like 80, like when I'm in my 50s and I can retire off that? Like, you know, I mean, I'm not gonna, you know, Watch I'd out. never sell my copy of Chrono Trigger, but still, come on. And, uh, yeah, like, like one of my other videos, like I was talking about, um, how older games, uh, this guy's beating my ass. See what I say about, you know, this, this kid or whatever saying, I was, what was I playing? I, it was on a stream. I was playing, uh, what was it? I think it was, uh, it was Link to the Past. That's what I was playing on the Super Nintendo. I was streaming it. And, uh, this kid's like, oh, this game doesn't look good. Because, you know, uh, because it's oldish and sort of stuff like that. And I'm like, dude, see, how old is that kid? And he, like, gives me a link, like, if you want truth on how awesome, you know, graphics and games are, he gave me a link to Call of Duty. I'm like, motherfucker, Call of Duty don't even look that good. Call of, all, I swear to God, if you put all the Call of Duties together, I would not be able to tell you which one was which. Call of Duty... I don't think that game's ever looked good. I'm sorry, you know. No, co it's all the same isn't engine, isn't it? Let me look it up. Yeah, it is. Yeah, they're all the same engine. What the hell? Yeah. So, how do you say it's good? And besides the Super Nintendo, it's an art style, you know. I, I'll, dude. Most of the time, you know. I could, I could go right now. I could go right now, like this very moment go outside and buy a PS4 you know why I'm not no fucking game son it's like that uh the VGA awards the guys you know talking shit to Nintendo I'm like at least you no know, at least fucking at least fucking the Wii U's got some games out you know Mario 3D World freaking Wind Waker HD um Super Luigi World all that stuff and more to come. At least that's, you know, fun to play and all that stuff. Like, what the hell? What does the Xbox have? The only reason, you know, the only thing that's pretty cool about the Xbox One is soon it's gonna, you can record videos, record gameplay, and upload them on YouTube eventually. But yeah, it's like, you know. Like, most of the time I find myself just playing, uh, you know, my emulators on the computer, you know. Most of the time I'm rocking some, you know, S Super Mario Brothers 3 or something like that. Or, you know, some other games. All that good stuff, you know? Like, those games are fun. Like, they... I don't know. But, yeah, I've been on this topic way too long, and I'm sure so some people are sticking, you know, sticking uh, guns in their mouths right now. Like, fucking... Shut up, dude. We don't give a fuck about your game preferences. Just fucking talk shit about... See, what the hell is... I swear to God, this has never happened to me before. What is with this skeleton? I thought that skeleton was stationary. And besides, the music is still playing. Is it following me or not? Of course, it's not going to make it easy for me, is it? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's snowing outside. How about you guys? <laughs> yeah, the other day I had to get my uh, my heater repaired or whatever, and they said, yeah, you'll be out without heat for about 
two or three days. I'm like, dude, it's snowing tomorrow. What the fuck? Like, I didn't say that. I was thinking, I was like, you know, okay, I guess I'll just wear heavy coats around the house. Which I'd be worried about the pipes freezing. That's the big thing. But, um, okay, I found a glitch. That's, that's always good. Um, but they were nice enough. They came, like, and fixed it, like, in three hours. So, that's a, that's, that's fine in my book. Alright, what the H-E double toothpicks. Alright, I guess I'm gonna have to go kill that skeleton. God damn it, man. <sighs> yeah, but, uh... Yeah, I swear, when I got home from work today, I, I beat, like, the snow by, like, you know, mere minutes. Like, I got home, made myself a sandwich, and, uh... It started snowing like I, roughly like 30 minutes after I got home, I was like, damn, damn. <sighs> Not that it was bad, but it, you know, still, it's just a mental thing. You don't want to be driving around in snow. Like my cousin, it got caught, caught in snow on her way home and she like lives an hour away from her job and she has to go through uh, heavy duty traffic like one of the heavier parts of where you know where I live alright alright skeleton motherfucker you are not gonna glitch my game that's what you get for holding up my game that's what you get for sucking up my time with these nice people who are watching the video right now Ugh. Ooh. okay there we go <laughs> I swear, if someone would make a mod that g gave you a key ring, that would be the bomb diggity. Instead of having to scroll through rings, or rings, keys, uh, that would that would definitely save me uh, three minutes of scrolling through a mini bar. <sighs> That's probably like one of the best things in the game when you can upgrade like magic stuff and upgrade, you fix magical weapons and fix things past a. Yes. Uh, past a hundred percent that's always cool. anything. yeah definitely need that and I don't need bows but only I don't quality use goods bows, for sale but, you here. know it could be useful. what can I in yeah let's Just sell let's sell some shit ye boy flavor flav <laughs> you drive a hard bargain ah <laughs> uh, good times good times you drive a hard bargain you drive a hard. You got a great deal there. Let's see, dooby dooby doo. Huh. Tell you. Alright. Farewell. So now, now that now that we cleaned out the entire, uh, that's probably one of the tougher, like, or well, more time-consuming sort of guild quests. Uh, well, yeah, it is the most, like, uh, out there, like, the, the biggest, you know, thing for the, for the Dark Brotherhood. There are a lot of, like, big old time sync quests in the, um, in the Thieves Guild and the Mages Guild. Fighters Guild is sort of just straight through, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong, I like the Fighters Guild, but, you know, it's a little, you know, not my favorite. I always thought it was cool that they how they put a uh, um a cool little escape hatch in the tree. Awesome like that. That's detail, my friends. Something Skyrim lacks, unfortunately.
I speak for the night month. The ritual of purification is complete. Well done. Sithis has been appeased, and the time has come to acknowledge and reward your unwavering loyalty. The Black Hand is most pleased with your progress. You have been invited to share in secrets that few within the Dark Brotherhood even know exist. Your life in the Sanctuary is over. Those contracts are behind you. Now, you will serve the Black Hand. You will serve me. From this moment forward, you will walk in the shadows as my silencer. You will receive contracts only from me. Your new life has begun. It is quite simple, really. No longer will you receive orders directly. Instead, you will visit dead drop locations scattered throughout Cyrodiil. Your next contract can be found at the dead drop on Hero Hill, southeast of here. A hollow in the moss-covered rock contains all you need to know. When you leave here, we will not speak again unless I deem it necessary. Ah, yes, there is one last thing. I have for you a very special gift. Waiting just outside is a magnificent steed named Shadowmere. She has served me well. I present her now to you as a token of my trust and love. Now go, and may Sithis guide you in this new stage of your life's dark journey. Go now, child of Sithis. Walk in the shadow of fear and bring glory to our dread father. That's a cool, uh... That's one of the best things right there. One of the reasons you would like to do the uh, Dark Brotherhood because Shadowmere is like the best horse in the game. Like, I don't know if he can die because it's weird. Like, he'll die and then he'll sprout back up uh, again. Um, he'll like pop right up, pop right up, but sometimes he will die. But it's sort of weird. Like, I don't know how uh, how it works if maybe. He, he's definitely the strongest horse and he fights you know like if an enemy's attacking you he'll he'll you know start get up on two legs and you know bash him around and stuff like that is pretty cool um, but yeah it's always nice to have horses in this game especially if you're you know if you're a big explorer like going every which way Uh, and I hurt my horse by accident. Fuck. Um. Oh. <laughs> I thought it froze for a second. I was like, you better not. You better not. I've had enough lost footage for one day, if you please. Yeah, this is, you know, not a very, uh... Unfortunately, sorry, like, sort of a spot in the game. This isn't a very, uh, like, big, um, what was that? Huh. I heard something. Anyways, um, <laughs> the last words of Simon. I just ripped that rock off, it was pretty cool. <laughs> now you, I'd be like, what's, what's that? Hello? <laughs> you got him? Good. The last words of Simon. Yeah. But, um... Huh. 
Um. <laughs> What's he gonna say? I swear I hear like a noise, like sounds like a spark or something. Hope I'm not getting like something shorted out or anything. <laughs> I'm sure he's just riveting, riveting uh, commentary for you guys just hearing me l be quiet and uh, trying to hear out something I may or may not heard. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. Yeah, this is where the the game sort of it'll pick back up. I promise, guys. Yeah, so this this episode nothing really happened. I mean, yeah, we killed all the um all the uh, dark brotherhood, all your, our friends and stuff. But you know, hey. So yeah, I'll probably finish the dark brotherhood. I'm not quite sure. Um. I love also how horses, you can go up like 90 degree mountains, it's pretty sick, pretty sick nasty. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm bringing that back. Um, I'm not quite sure what I want to do next as far as uh, Let's Plays. Um, what do I want to do next? I got, um, let's see, a Let's 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 look at this document I have that's my that's the new net plate that's gonna be called oh I'm thinking maybe I'll do a Zelda game next what do you guys think I think that's pretty cool I'm not do unfortunately unless it's like unless I have a lot of subscribers and it's a high demand sort of thing um, or a special sort of thing I'll you know I might do uh, um Um, I'll do a, uh, I'll do a Zelda, yeah, I'll do, uh, Majora's Mask, since not a lot of people talk about that game, uh, which everyone says Ocarina of Time, and don't get me wrong, Ocarina of Time, oh, it's, it's the freaking snow hitting my gla my window, it sounded like something like, snapping or some shit. I'm retarded. Oh god. This is my last video. Jesus Christ. I'm a very paranoid person if you couldn't tell and for the guys who work I work with and uh, are watching this videos they know how they probably know by this point how freaking ass paranoid I am. I swear this music is like the perfect uh, just relax and just ride along music. I love it. Um, anyways. Uh, yeah, Majora's Mask is a like such a good like. Not a lot of people have uh, like you know, Ocarina of Time. It has more of a well, no, they both do, because I got Majora's Mask for Christmas one year, and that was like one of the best Christmas gifts ever. I got that and uh, The Sims on the computer, which is a really fun you know computer game. I, I had hours of fun on that game, as well as Majora's Mask, but. I played Ocarina of Time first, <laughs> and yeah, it has a great deal of nostalgia, and I love that game. I could play it forever and never get tired of it. But, you know, everyone and their mothers played that game online. Like, you just type in Ocarina of Time, and I think in your Go Let's Play, in your Google search bar, and you're just like, your, your, um, <laughs> your, your computer overheats, like, gets all red, and like, and then you know you have to you have to call Microsoft and they won't they won't allow your warranty to go on. So then and then you gotta buy yourself a new computer and then you gotta reinstall Windows 7 or Windows 8, what have you. And then you gotta like you know and then you gotta go back and then uh, try it again and then hopefully that it won't overheat again. But you know that aside, um, yeah, I might do that or I could do Mass Effect. I'd like to do. I haven't. That'd be a good uh, a good one. That would be a very lengthy one as well, because I, I couldn't beat that game in less than like 30 hours, 40 hours. But yes, um, enough of mine inane rambling for now. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think we'll be able to reach our destination, but I think we'll call it quits on this episode. So thank you guys for watching.